Good evening yet again, this is Voxman Kyle, um, here with a beatboxing idea. It's building upon my last te tip and technique. Well, this microphone's blocking my face, that's not cool. Uh, it was in my last tip and techniques video where I discussed um, the inward snare evolution of sip, saying sip backwards. <laughs> So that's like kind of like doing hi-hat sort of thing. <laughs> Hi-hats in reverse. So this is building upon that sip thing. Um, so the result is this. So it's essentially doing the word sip inwards fast enough that it creates this fluttering roll sort of effect. Now that can be very cool. Um, I'll do a little jam later. Uh, so, but first I'll discuss how, how to go about doing this sound. So what we can do is, um, well, sip backwards is pretty easy. What you want to do is do a sibilant S with your tongue. And then just allow your lips to get sucked in by the air that you're drawing in and thereby close off the um, flow of air into your lungs. See, after that, I'm not breathing anymore in. It's just my lips close and that's the end of the sound. But what we're going to want to do is keep your lips loose enough that you can, once they're closed, they can actually be reopened by the force of air coming you, that you're sucking in. So you don't want to close them too hard, like, lips locked. No, you want to let, you want to let them close and then just get sucked back open. Now, once you get that control, if you let your lips just linger at that right on that on the fence sort of tension where they're getting sucked closed and then sucked open you can allow it to well now at that point once you have that precise tension down if you just give it a little bit more tension and increase the amount that you're sucking in, you'll get this stutter effect. So I'll go from less tension to more tension. So what that's gonna feel like is your tongue vibrating very fast against the front of your mouth. Actually, so your tongue meeting your lips and kind of vibrating very fast together. So, yeah, it's kind of, it's probably kind of a difficult technique, but I'm sure you guys will get it. Uh, and as, as far as fitting it into a jam, I've been listening a lot to uh, this artist from Victoria, British Columbia, named Kaminanda. He's an electronic dude. Well, I mean, he's flesh and blood, I'm pretty sure, but he makes electronic music, really cool stuff. Um, and I've been listening to his album, Year of the, Ti Year of the Golden Dragon. Year of the Golden Dragon. Wait, let me double check that. Ah, Year of the Golden Tiger. Year of the Golden Tiger. Google it. Check it out. I think you can buy the album on Bandcamp. Super awesome stuff, so I've been kind of inspired by that. Uh, for those of you interested, I'm using a Beta 87 Sure, Sure Beta 87. It's, I find it's got a lot of clarity without kind of, without too much volume. 
so it has that over the SM58. So check it out if you're interested. It's a couple, it's a couple hundred dollars more than the SM58, but for performance, I find it makes a world of difference, not just for beatboxing, but also for singing. Okay, uh, it's getting dark and my webcam's getting blurry. So hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. See you later.